Do you want month-long one gem troop donations? Yeah! Heaps and heaps and heaps of extra loot. Yeah! Or how about one of the new exclusive hero skins? What is up? What's going on guys? Trizzle here, tuning in, bringing you guys another great three-star video. Um, and as you can see from that intro guys, I am hyped. Um, I cannot wait for this new update. Um, I can tell you this is going to completely change the game. Uh, everything's being sped up uh, from the hero times to the building upgrades to the cost of everything. Um, plus, I don't know if you guys have realized, but Clash is officially a professional sport. We now have our first uh, eSports League, um, and we also have the World Championship. So I guess it's uh, becoming more than just a, a hobby. Um, it is officially something that you could do for a living uh, beyond content producing, of course. Uh, but uh, getting to the point of the video, I wanted to showcase some three-star attacks uh, from our last war uh, on 12v12. That's right, guys. We're about to show off some Town Hall 12 flex on them, fam. Um, so without further ado, let's hop right into it. Uh, this was our last war against an Asian clan. And uh, level 12, they weren't... How do I say this? Uh, they weren't good. Um, but as you can see, we gained very, very close to clearing the entire map. And if it wasn't for one small mistake, uh, we would have had a perfect war. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you guys how the 12v12s played out, uh, starting with the hit on their number one base. Now, yes, I do understand that there are a couple Town Hall 9 defenses on there, but let me finish. Let me finish. Um, he has a level, he upgraded his Expos, um, and I want to say, you know what, I didn't check the, uh, the Giga Tesla, but I, I have a good feeling that it's not level 1. Um, as you can see, he is their number 1 base, and I know having those max heroes carries a lot of weight, but I find it very hard to believe that it would be strictly, you know, just the offense that was that heavy. Um, anyways, uh, coming in with a little Jiwee bow, um, and this is something that you guys have seen on the channel. I'm going to put a, a card above so you guys can check that tutorial out so you know how to execute execute this raid. It's so OP against those open layouts, guys, especially with the upgrade to the witches that are coming on the way. Things are going to get so exciting. I cannot wait to see the buff on the hogs uh, coming with a brand new level, not to mention the witches, which will be bumped down. So we'll see a brand new level for Town Hall 12, brand new level for Town Hall 11, brand new level for Town Hall 10, um, and things should get exciting. Um, in addition to the new hero skins, guys, um, I know some people have mixed feelings on it, um, but I think it's just going to be awesome. Just another way that you can customize your game experience and express yourself within the game, knowing that there's only so much you can do to individualize and separate yourself other than you know just winning wars you end up having a situation where just your profile name and your clan name is the only thing that you can customize so that's pretty cool that supercell is catching on um, and those skins i'm pretty excited to see uh, what they're going to do for the archer queen hopefully they'll do something for the grand warden uh, so there you have it guys a three star 12v12 on an extremely rush base um, but, you know what, a triple's a triple. Um, there's a reason why I didn't show that attack uh, last. But, here we have a much more leveled base, and this was their number three, going in with a little Town Hall 12 Electro Dragloon. That's right guys, hashtag El Chapo, hashtag El Drago. Uh, link above, make sure you guys check out the tutorial on that, because it's so strong. And once you can identify what you want to look for in a base, you can just go in and wreck face. I know I have been working on a Queen Walk Minor video, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, this is probably one of the easier attacks to execute at Town Hall 12. So those of you that are my Town Hall 12 viewers, make sure you check this raid out. 
make sure you get that down because I know if you are going to be doing CWL um, raids, you want to make sure that you're guaranteeing that, that two star and having the possibility of that three star. And if you face a clan with solid base layouts, it's going to be very hard to get those guaranteed two stars uh, that can turn and blossom into a triple. All right, so once you go in with Electro Dragoon, you typically want to make sure you're getting those air defense. Uh, you want to prime the base. Going in with the hero kill squad, you want to try and get Town Hall, air defense, eagle artillery, as much of that as possible. Um, and like I said, I do have the, the video that I had linked above, so it's going to break down how to do that attack. But here you'll see that once the kill squad goes in, the base is pretty much primed for failure. And there you have it guys, um, the Electro Dragons ended up taking everything out. Now I'm not going to lie, this did come down to the hair on my chinny chin chin. But um, you know what, a 3 star is a 3 star, uh, holding it down 12v12. So there you have it guys, Electro Dragoon in all of its glory. And that's going to bring us to the next attack, which if I'm not mistaken, is Electro Dragoon. Yes, yep, another... Uh, Another shining example of how strong this raid is. And again, another 12v12 triple. And I'm going to come in and approach the base that's going to allow me to grab as many of the air defense as possible with the kill squad. Um, and that's usually going to be from the bottom left hand side. Um, and you'll see that in just a second. So down goes the wall wrecker. Down goes the baby dragon to help establish the funnel. A couple wizards get thrown down there to cut the funnel on the right. In go the heroes. And here we go. Now, of course, the king decides to, mm, I'm going to take a stroll, uh, but it ends up working out because the queen, the CC troops get a solid push towards the core of the base, and then they take out the air defense, circle back, uh, the other air defense goes down, and I can't remember if the queen gets the town hall. Let me fast forward this a little bit. Um, when it's all said and done, the queen does work, um, and yes, she does end up grabbing the town hall, so you'll notice that at the end of that opening push, three air defense are down, the town hall, a uh, couple air, uh, one of the air sweeper, and that's it. There's so much. Uh, almost half of the base went down with just the heroes. So by the time the dragons enter the, the fray, there's really not a whole lot for them to do. And I could have swagged so much spells in this raid, but I wanted to make sure that I sure guarantee the triple. So I kind of overdid it near the end. Um, but there you have it guys, Electro Dragoon cops another 3 star, hitting him with that Town Hall 12 flex, that's what's up guys, so really appreciate you guys watching the video, as always, uh, make sure you guys drop a comment, make sure you stay tuned, as you know we're doing a lot of great, great new things with the channel, uh, not only with the clan membership, uh, channel membership, but I'm going to be doing a an account giveaway, uh, so actually for the month of April, and I'll talk more of this on the live stream, um, I'll go into the details, so make sure you guys come by Sunday night, but um, I'm going to be doing some special things for those of you that support the channel, alright, so I appreciate you guys watching, as always, Drizzle tuning out.